here is the interesting question for the sine function state the increasing intervals for minus infinity to plus infinity you know sine function has domain or real numbers right now how to write increasing intervals in a general form I find that many times students get stuck at this and they know what is increasing interval but to write a formula they they really struggle so here is how we should be doing it let me first just sketch a sine function for you let's say this is our x-axis and uh, let's sketch one sine function here something like this good now as you know sine starts from here right so we'll draw y-axis here and that's my x-axis good and now let's write down let's write down in degrees I'm not using gradients here because some students are not still conversant with radians okay so let's do this. this is so increasing interval is from here you can see it increases from here to here correct that is the increasing interval uh, for a sine function and what are these points you know this is 90 degrees and this is minus 90 correct and then it will be here and then let's say yeah. okay so this one full wave will be 360 degrees right okay uh, but let's only concentrate on our increasing intervals okay now so well this is 180 and this is 270 so I'll write 270 here. Correct. Now, let's try to figure out a general formula for increasing intervals. Here you can see, if you just consider one part of it, it increases from minus 90 degrees to plus 90 degrees, right? So I can write increasing intervals. minus 90 degrees to let me write 2 here plus 90 degrees correct so that's my first interval you can see now when does it increase later later it will increase by because the time period of a sine function is 360 degrees right so from here to here it should be plus 360 degrees right so if we add 360 to each let me add like this if you add 360 degrees right you get the next increasing interval right does it make sense so so the next one is minus 90 plus 360 is 270 which you can see here right 270 right and then it will be 90 plus 360 like 450 degrees right that will be here which is 1, 8, uh, 360 plus 90, correct? Next. So, after every 360, we'll have this increasing interval, correct? And even plus or minus. Is it okay? Because even if you see from this side, right? So, the next interval will be from here, right? Which would be minus 360 degrees, right? So, it is plus or minus 360 degrees, right? Okay, so we can say that first it increases from minus 90 to plus 90 and then the next will be plus 360 degrees on both sides and then next will be another 360 degrees. So it will be 360 degrees n times. Is that okay? So, if, so the increasing interval I can write as minus 90 degrees plus 360 n to 90 degrees plus 
360 degrees n. Do you understand? Or 360n, right? Where n is any integer. 1, 2, 3, 4. If we consider 1, 2, 3, 4, we are going this side. But if we consider minus 1, 2, 3, 4, we consider this also. Right? So where n is any integer, correct? Then we get all the increasing intervals for a sine function. Now here, you can simplify it. You can take 90 common, right? So if you take 90 common, what do you get? Let's take 90 common, right? So you get 90 common. And then, let's, so when we took positive, let me write this first. So this is 4n, right? Minus 1. Is it okay? 2. Here also we can take 90 common, correct? Let's factor out 90, right? So we get 4n plus 1. Now here, what is n? Where n belongs to set of integers, right? That is what it is. So you can write your increasing interval as 90 degrees within bracket 4n minus 1 to 90 degrees 4n plus 1. You see that? That is how you get your general formula for increasing intervals for a sine function, right? And, and that's the way to do it. And since n is an integer, we are considering on both negative and positive side. Okay? And this, we will put it in set form. And that becomes our increasing interval. Do you see that? That is how this problem should be tackled. I hope you understand. Thank you.